Good morning, everyone. Right here, we got the makings of a constant current source. And the reason I want to build a constant current source is so that I can measure resistances in the milliohms. Now, right here, I got one. This is 0 0.07 ohms. This one here is 0.24 ohms. And my meter cannot measure resistances down that low. <laughs> so, I got a drawing of a constant current source. Now, I've modified it a little bit and took parts off of it. Um, search the internet for milliohm resistor, and you'll find thousands of ways to do this. But the simplest ones are always the best. <laughs> this, is a, this is the simplest circuit I could find. Here's the constant current circuit. It uses an LM317. And I'm using the LM317 HVTP+. That source is more current than the standard LM317. The input to the LM317 is on pin 3. Pin 2 is the output. Pin 1 is the adjust. We're going to adjust this potentiometer here so we have 100 milliamps from the red probe to the black probe, the red terminal to the black terminal. Over here is where we bring our DC voltage in. The polarity doesn't matter because this bridge rectifier corrects the uh, incoming polarity to the proper polarity for VN and ground. Here's some filter capacitance right here and right here. I'll put this up at the end of the video so you can take screenshots and build your own circuit. <laughs> okay. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I put the constant current source in the kit box. Let's take a look at the circuit. Right here is the LN317. That's an adjustable voltage regulator. Here's the bridge rectifier. This part number is W01G. Here's the two filter capacitors. One microfarad at 50 volts. On the other side, here's the 18 ohm resistor. Here's the 50 ohm multi turn potentiometer that we're going to use to calibrate the current at the output terminals to 100 milliamps. And over here is the input terminals to the bridge rectifier. First thing we have to do is calibrate that current to 100 milliamps. We're going to apply 5 volts to the bridge rectifier. We're going to set our meter to milliamp mode. our meter probes in those banana jacks and let's turn on the power supply. We have 231.7 milliamps at the output. So we're going to have to adjust that potentiometer. Let's see if I can turn this over without dropping everything.
Almost there. Just a little bit more. There we go. 100.0 milliamps at the output terminals. Set that back in the box. We'll let that settle in a little bit before we measure the 0 0.07 ohm resistor. Let me show you this resistor. And you'll see the reason why I wanted to measure in the milliohm region. Will it focus? Let me get back a little bit. Right there, you can see that the plastic housing of the resistor has melted. This 0 0.07 ohm resistor was in the current sense circuit of a motor output of a servo drive. I got supernova hot to melt that plastic right there. That resistor must have been glowing. <laughs> I've tacked wires onto the solder pads of that resistor so I can connect it to the 100 milliamp current source. Okay, I've got my meter set to millivolt mode. Now we're going to attach the smoked 0.07 ohm resistor to the 100 milliamp source. There's one side connected. There's the other side connected so that we'll have 100 milliamps flowing through that resistor. Put our probes there so that we measure across that 0.07 ohm resistor. I'm going to apply 5 volts to the bridge rectifier. Now look at that. We have 7.6 millivolts across that resistor. And 7.6 millivolts divided by 100 milliamps through the resistor equals 0 0.076 ohms. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I like that circuit. Before this, I had no ability to test a milliohm resistor. But now I've got it. <laughs> okay, folks, go out and put you that circuit together. You'll have a lot of fun with that. Thank you very much for stopping by. I always enjoy it when you come over to see what I'm experimenting with at the moment. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.